I watched the Rocky movies and when I saw the Rocky movies it kind of inspired me like I could be that guy <laughs> This was the moment 15-year-old Jack thought he was Rocky Balboa. At the end, he was embraced by his dad. Emotional, yet the young boxer wanted more. I feel, I feel like I want more. <laughs> like, I, like, I was taking punches, taking punches. I just wanted more. I just wanted, I just wanted more. He was one of 36 young boxers from the VG and Viewford gyms who had the opportunity to showcase their talents to an elite panel of observers, including Joseph Reds Pereira and David Shakes Christopher. The showcase attracted parents, coaches, and officials from the Ministry of Youth Development and Sports. I am happy to see the number of young people, especially the young, number of young men who have you know, taken an interest in the sport. And I believe as a parent and as an educator, by profession I'm an educator, to see that the students have an outlet for their time and their energy rather than finding idle ways to occupy themselves out on the streets that they have this area they can come to the gym and there's so many lessons to learn apart from boxing but through boxing honorable kenson kazimi was among many impressed by the outcome i'm very impressed with what i'm seeing so far the vibe very good parents are coming in the coaches and the ministry continues to provide support through ensuring that there is a payment of a Cuban coach um, for the sport of boxing. And we're also seeing uh, Conrad Fredericks continuing his local program. And so we're just looking to see how we can continue to identify talent. The assessment program was competitive, but at times seemed tense, as boxers from opposing gyms turned it into a slugfest. We saw a lot of skill, but then we saw some aggression, a lot of aggression. So we had to tone them down a little bit and let them know it's not aggression because today everybody's a winner. We don't have winner and loser today because it's an assessment program. Um, I think boxing is in good hands. From what we've seen today, we have 36 boxers, all young boxers who never really fought on no, on no regional or international level. And um, this is boxers that we will be assessing to go to the OECS games, the Creole games, the schoolboy boxing championship in Guyana, and also we we'll have our national boxing championship next month, which is called the Independence Boxing Championship at the at the VG complex. We also have a boxing card called Champions of Champions, where all the elite boxers from the Caribbean will be assembling here in the from the 6th to the 9th of April, we'll be featuring some of these same boxers on that card. The program is called Hands in Gloves, Not on Guns. And the St. Lucia Boxing Association's president is encouraging youth to channel their energy in a positive direction. Marvin St. Louis, reporting from the Ministry of Youth Development and Sports.